Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Captain of Industry. And there is something so satisfying to watch these little trucks drive around doing, doing their little deliveries. It's almost like having an ant farm, isn't it? Uh, I have done a few things after the last episode. Uh, I think I had some issues with the rubber production. Trucks weren't being able to make the delivery because you couldn't get there because uh, it wasn't properly automated. So I'm pretty sure I didn't have a conveyor set up, but they're set up now. Uh, I did get another set of uh, blast furnaces going in to try to get a little more iron production, but this is a very inefficient setup, I agree, and I have since then gone into a new save, or a new game, and I st more or less started from scratch and worked my way back up to here, and I started realizing that I need to start paying attention to recipe times and recipe costs, and like, for instance, how one blast furnace can supply two metal casters, and just gotta make sure that the output on the conveyor can support it and I'll have to pay attention to how much the machines need per per cycle to do their, their thing and all that stuff. Uh, so what I want to do today is I actually want to sort of redesign this whole thing. And uh, the other world I came up with, a, well I'm sure other people have come up with it, but uh, I figured out a bit of a more streamlined setup for this and hopefully I'm going to get this right a little bit better. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the iron production and I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to have it over here. I'm going to take the copper, I'm going to move the copper all the way over here so the trucks don't have to drive far and then hopefully I can just have the copper coming off co coming off the line on conveyors so the trucks aren't driving around so much wasting my diesel. Uh, another thing I want to do while I'm getting all this set up is I'm actually going to take all this slag here I'm going to actually turn the dumping off here for now. Um, actually what I can do, what we're going to do is going to pause this because I need to, first of all, I need to get rid of this dumping designation. Is that I'm going to take all this slag here, I'm going to use this as uh, part of my filler over here. Alright, uh, this is mining, so we go over to the mining area. Get rid of that, because that's all done now. Like so. And then I'm going to get out of here, go to this mine control tower, I'm going to re-edit this area. Now, I want to try to claim this land, because I realize there's going to be a lot of things I'm going to have to build. I mean, a lot. Uh, yeah, it should be good for now. It's going to take ages to do this. All right, I'm going to leave that for now. And then I'm going to go to a dumping area. And this is just going to be a dump. And we're going to fill in this whole land here. It won't let me do it all in one shot, but that's fine. This, and then, uh, doesn't matter if it's out or not. It's going to take us 20 years to fill this in. Well, probably a lot longer than that in the game. I think, well, what are we now? Year 95? <laughs> and just like so. So now, oh, get that out. Uh, there was, has, has been an update to the game. There is now uh, specific uh, route designations. So if I want this mine control tower to only export to a certain location, any trucks that are picking up loads from the excavators that are here, will only go to a certain thing. So if I say to go to, uh, well, that example, if I go to this loose storage here and say that only deliver to these loose storages here if they're selected for it, then they will only go there. They will not go to any other place that's requesting for it because I'm specifically asking for it. Uh, just like how, uh, not that one, actually they revamped it, but that was the, the other one where I could click on designate trucks to it and say, okay, you're only doing this particular route. Anyway, enough rambling. So uh, this is just going to be a dumping area. Uh, it is going to be grunt dirt, rock, slag. Uh, let's add gravel in there too. And then what I'm going to do is I do have an excavator over here. Uh, no, actually, he's... Why are you sitting over there then? I don't know. Um, I need another excavator. Uh, I do actually want to halt production on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to take both of these guys off. And then I'm going to go over here. And I'm actually going to do this. Because I don't think it really matters if this one's overlapping or not. Uh, I'm going to assign two excavators to this. Four trucks. Uh, four trucks. Yeah, four trucks should be enough. And then I am going to designate this as a mining area. Mining area, we're just going to be flat and we're just going to clean off 
all the slack that is not what I want to do. Because I started on the slope, so it's going to automatically go there. So we'll go flat. And we're just going to clear everything out. And it's going to take all... These guys are going to take all this slag, gravel, rock, and they're going to dump it over there. Just like so. Okay, and then now, while they're going to do that, I'm going to actually go ahead and start getting this new area thing set up. So what I did... Actually, let's go into the research first before we continue on. Uh, currently, we are working on... Somewhere over here. I was looking through the recipes. My God, some of this stuff gets like so complex. Like some of these machines and things you can make it, it's like wow uh, i started like i said i got into the steel and then i started getting dealing with the gases oh that's gonna be a fun ride I tried to get into the large vehicles too but in order to make these parts here you need glass and uh, glass is actually quite interesting uh, glass you need uh, molten glass which is uh molten glass is glass mix glass mix is sand limestone and salt i don't have salt yet so salt is actually a little ways down the line yet in the tech tree to get the uh, evaporation ponds and it takes seawater or brine and it evaporates and becomes salt and that's just to make glass and oh god it's gonna get interesting anyway so this is what i'm gonna do so i want to make sure i do have a proper stored uh holding sp space for this i should say all right so i want to do i got four here now for iron I think four should do. I'm going to have a lot of iron here. I'm going to actually redesign all this. Hmm. You know what? Let's make it six. All right. Uh, another update that they, they did too is um, they added the conveyors and chutes and all that stuff in the copy and paste mode. So this is going to make it a lot easier for me. I want to make sure I have enough room because i got to dig over here too. So... Uh, let's actually go right here. And I'm going to take... Uh, what I did is I realized I could take two metal casters. I can have them sort of right about here. As long as I have enough room to get two shoots through there and the exhaust. So if I do that... Yes. Take another one. And again, have room for the chute and the conveyor. This one could actually be a little bit closer, but that doesn't matter. Uh, get our smokestack on there. Oh, for some reason I didn't auto-connect. There's some other hotkeys to the added too, I just don't remember them all. And rotate it like so. Yeah, but also put it on the right side. I do have to make sure I can get the slag out of here. Alright, and now we go over here and I'm going to actually use the feature that they have where you don't have to actually select the transport you need. You just click on the arrow and it automatically selects what you need. So then I take one and I go directly that like so. And then I go here. And I come around the front and I just connect it into like so. Uh, for the slag, I will have to set that up afterwards. And then for the conveyors, or for the output, I, what I did is I just went like so. And we'll just close that off like that, connect that like so, and just like that, that is the, the, uh, blast furnace, smelting, iron, copper, yada yada yada. Alright, now, go like this, copy like that, and look at that, we can copy and paste repetitively, so two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now, I gotta get the uh, uh, chute sorted up, and then what I've decided to do... Uh, I can't remember if I can sp specify specific trucks. So I'd like, to, if I could, if I assign six, uh, six trucks to the mine, I'd like to have two going into... To dedicate to individual hoppers. Uh, give me a second while I figure this one out. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I was thinking about it. I think I'm only going to go with four for the steel. Or, or for the iron. And what I'll do is I'm going to actually get another four set up for the, uh, the steel. Now the steel is a little bit different. Uh, let's get into metals, metallurgy here. And now for the steel, again we start with the blast furnace. Let's see if we get that space in right. 
Let me think here. Actually, let's do it this way. Do a copy because everything's going to be the same size anyways. And if I do that, actually I didn't have to shift that. I will take this out because I have to put something in here first. That takes that all, all that out. Get rid of the conveyors for now. Now, uh, iron has to go into uh, oxygen furnace, which requires oxygen. And we'll get into that in just a second here. So, uh, this one is actually going to be able to take all of it in at once. So we'll just do it like that. Connect that like so. And then this one can go into there. Uh, the reason is, is uh, the output of the iron is the exact same input as the... Uh, what is that? Oxygen furnace. Yes. That's the words I'm looking for. And then again, same thing. It's actually this. Can I do it that way? Uh, no, I can't. No, I was going to try to copy this, but it's not going to work because I have to split this anyways. Uh, let's see. Let's, I want to try to make this as compact as possible. That's one. Uh, let's leave one gap just because. Okay. Oh, I should have grabbed another one. That's not supposed to go there. There's two things I'm good at. Misclicking and hitting the wrong button. That was actually in the wrong spot. Okay. Then the same thing. We go to our transports. Shoot to here. Then we go down like so. And I go like that. Force on that side. And grab our conveyors. Like so. Okay. Now, for, for the iron... Or the steel, it's a little bit different. I have to make oxygen. Uh, the oxygen, we, we, we will require, where is it? The air separator. And the air separator just runs, creates oxygen and nitrogen. Uh, the nitrogen, for now, I'm going to have to vent off because I, uh, it's going to fill up the tanks and I won't be able to do much with it. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave this right over here. Oxygen will be on that side. That'll be perfect. And I should, we'll get that all connected in afterwards. And there is going to be a smokestack. And grab our smokestack. That connects automatically. No, it didn't. I thought it was supposed to automatically connect. Maybe I'm not hitting the light. Maybe I'm not hitting the button. Hmm, I guess not. Oh. There we go. Alright, just like that. Now we go ahead and copy this. Nope, that's the wrong button. Wrong tool, actually. The only tool around here is me. And that didn't work because I went off, off the screen. I'll get there eventually. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Copy that. And... Two... Three... And they're in the wrong spot. Be nice if you actually do a cut and paste. I'm sure you can. No, I was just going to actually cut. That's fine, I can always... I can always copy and paste again. Not that hard, because these two are actually lined up. Copy you. Copy you helps if I stay actually in the window. And let's actually get it lined up properly this time. There we go. Okay, and now for the oxygen. Actually, now for the conveyors. So the reason why I'm doing, doing this is... Uh, I'm gonna have four separate, four separate loose storage, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have four separate mining towers here, and each tower is gonna have its own excavator and two trucks. So, and then one tower will be designated to one storage, another tower will be designated, designated to another storage. But as long as they're in the same area, like I'm sure the mining areas can overlap, so just basically individual control of them. Okay, so let me get the storage set up and then we'll get the oxygen going. Okay, there we go. So I got everything uh, all set up with the conveyor. So I got basically uh, one loose storage feeding two separate blast furnaces. That's just, just that's just to keep up with production. And we'll make sure everything's going to go good. Um, now to get the oxygen going, I do have to... We do have to... Where is it? Uh, start really going heavy on the... the 
the coal. I think I have a spare excavator. Yeah, I do. Let's get some more trucks in there. Now I'm going to have to start porting all this stuff over here as well. Okay, so now for the oxygen. Now the oxygen is fairly simple. Uh, it's just a matter of having two, two tanks. Probably don't need one on the oxygen side, but I'm going to put one there anyways. One for the oxygen, and then we'll put another one for the nitrogen, and they just happen to be right next to each other. And then for the time being, uh, we have to bend this off, so we're going to put a smokestack. And that's just going to vent off the nitrogen, which goes in here. This is going to be oxygen. Okay, now for the pipes. So now it's a matter of getting this oxygen going in here, and I'm hoping... I should be able to. I should go right over top with with uh, right over top of the conveyors. Come on, get out of my way. Now if I go up, I should be able to go right over top of the conveyors, like so. And now where's my tank? There we go. That didn't actually connect. What's going on here? We just have to redo that. Uh, that's also one of the reasons why I like building in, uh, building with paused, is, is I don't have to worry about the trucks coming in and actually building everything while I make a mistake. Because I have to wait for them to disassemble it. Alright, so that is the oxygen all set up, so we are good to go. All we have to do is set up the recipes on the, this. Uh, I do have to get the coal going, so we got that. We got. This is going to be all iron. Now we don't have to worry about setting up the oxygen furnace. I think that is automatic. Yep, that is automatic. And same with the casters. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I don't know. I'm sure some of you already noticed it. But uh, I actually need a cooled caster for the steel. So then that means I got to take out like the steel. No, these casters these uh, casters and put the cooled caster in which means I have to also get water in here uh, where does the water go put it right in over top and see where it lines up it'll just fit all right let me swap these out and I'll be right back that was actually pretty easy it doesn't matter taking them out, and I love how everything automatically connects again. Alright, so now I just have to get water in. Now, where is the water around here? Do we have groundwater? Right over here. Hmm. A lot of water over there, but I want to run the pipes over, and I really don't want to have the pipes everywhere, so... I guess... I guess I'll just put the water pump here. Uh, let's actually see how much these these need. Four every 40 seconds. This is doing... 32 every 40 seconds. I think I actually have enough. Oh, what do you know? Perfect. Now do I have that thing going the right way? I do. Okay. And I'm actually going to leave the pipe on the ground and I'm just going to put a ramp over top. Keep that straight. we we'll go over here. And then we branch it off. Now I should be able to come across like this. It actually connects. Now can I connect the rest of them? I can. Not there, but there I can. Oh, that's a tight fit. Oh, I got another pipe there. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. Or is it? Cannot join to a ramp. I'm not trying to join to a ramp. Anyway, let me work this out and I'll be right back. Okay, it's not pretty, but it works. I was able to sort of straddle all the conveyors along here so that 
Should be working. Hopefully that's, that pump's going to produce enough water. Now it's a matter of getting the slag out of here. Okay, so there's a slag line. It's kind of kind of snaky. I was hoping to go, go a little bit more straight, but it's only one conveyor up, but that's how it worked. Alright, so that is that. Now it's a matter of getting coal over here. Uh, I wonder how far we are on the, the better conveyors. I'm going to actually start researching them now. They're... Uh, what did they need? I think they need steel and the tier 2 construction parts. And we probably need to get start getting those started pretty soon. But let's get some more research going while we got this going. So ship weapons are almost done. Ship armor is almost done. Uh, speaking of weapons and armor, I have done a few of these pirate, pirate battles. I've equipped up the ship with the basic stuff. And uh, things like this and this, we can manage. I can manage. We can match easy with this ship. Maybe this too. Uh, I'm not 100% not sure, but basically if you defeat the enemy, then you, you get you know parts and supplies and stuff like that. And sometimes you actually un open up locations like the cargo ship or an oil rig or, or something. But I also found out too that you can upgrade these to produce more oil. Uh, I don't think that increase, increases the reserve, but it produces definitely the production, so it's not bad. So that's something to look forward to. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's go back to the research here. Uh, so I guess... I think I want to get into the conveyors next. Oh, there was actually something else I was going to want to do. Uh, I was thinking about basic desalination. Uh, there is... That wasn't biofuel. Uh... I did think about getting the mechanical power too, but I don't think that's really necessary at the moment because we're getting steam, and for the steam we need coal, and there's only so much coal we need. Uh, as far as the large vehicles, I looked into this too. Uh, need the glass for that, and we're not even at the glass yet, so there's no point in that. I was going to actually get into it because they, they hold about three times the amount, so it's really good, but again, we can't use it, and then this is... A lot further down the line, you can actually set up barriers to stop trucks from actually going certain places, which I thought was pretty cool. You can always just stick a warehouse there. They can't drive through that. Uh, sulfur, uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and start with the conveyors. And... I need sulfur for something eventually. Not sure what... I was like, upgrade the pipes while we're at it. I uh, don't actually need that for anything, so I probably won't get into it unless I actually really want it. Oh, I guess... Queue up the large vehicles, we'll queue up sulfur. And then we'll continue on. So basically what I want to do here is I want to get some more excavators. Let's see where, what I've got assigned here. I got... I'm assigned here, I can actually dismant dismantle that building. Uh, turn you off, because you're not controlling. You are. Uh, you got nothing assigned to you. You have nothing assigned to you. That actually reminds me of what, something I gotta do here is... Uh, we're gonna have to start taking care of the, the, the trash issue. And that's gonna be setting up a solid fuel burner. And I decided I'm gonna place this all the way over here, where it's gonna be out of the way, where nobody will even see it. Place two of them, like so. Take a loose storage, loose storage two. And is that is that actually not connecting? There you go. Okay, so the reason why I'm building it over here is because of the pollution. And then we just have to connect this up with conveyors, uh, transport, and the conveyor is going to actually go right to the waste collection area, so I don't have to get the truck to take it out at all. It's all the way over there. Hmm. Can we squeeze in through here? I think we can. We're gonna go right over that pipe. So let me get this done and I'll be back. Alright, I love how it actually automatically goes over pipes like that. I was worried about that over at the corner of the shipyard here and it actually went over on its own. That was pretty cool. So now the trucks don't, don't have to worry about taking the garbage and the trash out themselves. Trash out, they will do it. Them, this will do it themselves, which means I can actually get a couple of trucks free from garbage collection. So now, what do I do with the coal area? Now I have a huge area I can mine out here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and re-edit this. I'm gonna try to stay away from the mind, the mind control tower because I don't want that thing collapsing. All right, we'll do that. Now we got three mine, uh, three excavators, eight trucks. We go to mining. Now again, we're gonna leave it at two, and we are just gonna strip the whole thing down. Yes, like so. And below this, I believe it goes down quite a way, so there is like a huge patch of coal here. All right, now, now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put, get these guys going. I have that. And f you know what? Maybe I'm gonna do the same thing here. Actually, no, I'm not, because I'm not gonna leave them, leave them set up here. And then what I gotta do? Well, I'll do that afterwards. But I'm gonna basically separate this conveyor. Have two two conveyors coming out because conveyors can only hold so much. So if it's all coming out of one, it's only gonna be able to supply one side really. But we will worry about that when the time comes. All right, so that is good to go. Uh, that is ready. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I believe that's it. Oh yeah, let's get some storage set up while we're at it. Alright, storage. Like this. And for the time being, we'll just set up a buffer here. We'll have these going in like... Like there, and... Trying to keep everything uniform here. Not that it matters. Okay. No, that's not gonna work like that. I have to just do it like this. And we do that. And uh, like so. Oh, okay. I didn't it didn't look like you're actually connect. Let me fix this. Okay, so yeah, that is basically all done. All that's left to do is get the coal set up. We'll worry about that afterwards. Uh, actually, I can do that in a second here, but we also got to do the same thing with the copper. Now, I want to get the copper sort of set up over here because this is basically, you know, it's where the copper all is. Uh, I can't really just copy and paste that because it's a slightly different setup. We have to go through the uh, electrolyzer. Actually, that goes in afterwards, is it not? The impure copper comes from... Oh, yeah, what do you know? This would be pretty easy. You go over here, and... I'm actually copy more than I want. I'm going to copy that con those conveyors too, but I can get rid of them. So, let's just do... Let's actually do that. Copy everything. Let me go over here. Rotate it like so, and just paste it. Let's put it right, put it right here, because this is where they're going to be working. And I think I actually need water for this, right? I need, yeah, I do need water. Again, 32 per per 40, and we actually have that. So those come out, and then they go into an electrolyzer. And uh, now this is 16 every 40. Now it's doing 16 every 40. Perfect. So we only need one. Uh, okay, yeah. That's the right way. You know what? Let's actually line it up right with that port there. Alright. Like a so. And then this one. We just take a conveyors. And go like a so. Always click too fast. Always. What is wrong with you? And with by you, I mean me. There we go. Alright, and you come down here like so, and... Like that. Now I just gotta get water in here. That's not a water pump. That's a water pump. Oh, we have a lot of water here. Perfect. Put that around. Grab some pipes. 
And this should be relatively easy. I gotta lift it up one. I'm gonna go over the pipe like so and connect. Or not the pipe, the conveyor. And that is that. Now, is that gonna be enough? Yeah, that should be. That's actually what I got set up there, and we're holding up pretty good. All right, now this goes into a storage like everything else. I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat symmetrical. Good enough. And we'll just put three for now. If I don't misclick. Done. Now I'll just get some conveyors in, and we are good to go. Uh, now I think about it, we're gonna have to really up the. Uh, way okay there's the carpet line set up so again it's uh four blast furnaces feeding into casters and electrolyzers water pump slide going over there output going here still need to get coal to this side but we are going to do that real quick now i'm actually thinking about now i think i might actually get two mind control towers on this one here so we're going to go ahead and build another mind control tower where is it there it is Oh, I still have the old landfill here. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, that was mining, so we'll do that. Clear all that. Oh, there we go. All right, now your area is going to be the exact same area. And you're going to have the same mine area. Uh, Nothing's going to get dumped here because I, well, let's get rid of everything anyways. Just like so, okay. Now, you have one and three. I'll have to make one more, but let's take... So I have two excavators and two tr four trucks in either one. We got one there. So I still have to build another excavator. Uh... I've got two here. I'm going to actually build a couple of excavators. Uh, okay, but yeah, so that's basically that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run and let them build everything. And we'll see if we can do a bit of a cinematic thing with it. Uh, let me get some trucks built and we'll be on our way. Okay, I think I'm ready. So what we're going to do uh, to help with the building of this project is we're going to actually dismantle all this at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, I'm going to do this, nope, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take everything out right up to there, so we can actually reuse the parts to build our new project, our, our new setup here, so I'm going to try to mess around with the photo mode, the photo mode's got like sort of a rotation effect, I'm going to see if I can get sort of like a rotating pan, we can watch them fill in the land there the land over here, digging out all the slag and gravel and all that stuff, and watch this all get built. I did get some uh, containers set up already for the those guys. I got, uh, where is here? I got three excavators queued up, and then what I've done is all the mine sites, I've taken all the trucks off the job, so we have 14 trucks available to move things around. Do I have any trucks there? No, I don't. Where do I have trucks? I have no idea. Anyway, let's see how this works.
Okay, well I had to cut that short. Turns out I'm, I ran out of tier 2 construction parts. I have tier 1 construction parts. Uh, well, I have no idea where those are right now. They are... Not in there. They are in there. Now what am I missing out of this line here? Uh, electronics. They're coming out of... Here, we need rubber. What's going on with the rubber situation? Does this not have rubber going into it? Why is there concrete on there? Hmm. I think I messed something up. Hold on. Alright, well, don't have the iron to continue producing, but I do have some things I can take apart here, like a whole bunch of conveyors. Go ahead and take that apart. Go ahead and let these guys go. It's always something with this thing, I always end up, uh, I thought I had enough supply to do everything, but I, apparently I didn't. Uh, built a lot over there. I ran out of workers too, so I had to pause all those, thinking that was my problem, but that wasn't the problem because I didn't have the parts for it. Uh, so I'm going to let these guys finish up doing what they're doing and then uh, might have to get some iron going so I can get more of these tier 2 construction parts going, but uh, I'll bring you back when I got something. Okay, so I haven't quite gotten things worked out yet. Uh, we do have a little bit of iron, but not much, so I need to actually get this up and running. So I've started uh, building that up. Uh, I don't know what I have for parts if I can actually get this conveyor over there. And that is actually slag, this is this, so I might have to get trucks to auto import this. And maybe what I'll do is for the time being, I'll assign, assign two trucks to here, and we'll have these exporting to here. Now I'm going to make sure I set that to coal. Oh, oh that's going to be iron actually. Iron, so we'll take, uh, no, 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 yes. I want so let's uh get rid of that oh you're not actually gonna go there are you hmm oh I'll have to I won't even be able to do that that way this way all right well I guess I'll just have to let them auto import but we'll let that run uh this is they, these guys are doing their thing but we do have upgrades for the ship now we can go over here, make sure it's repaired. We'll actually repair that. It only takes a little bit of iron, which honestly we don't have. A little bit anyways. But what we can do is once it's repaired, we can go ahead and we can add guns on the front, guns on the back. And we can also add armor in the front and back as well. I have to wait for it to be repaired for me to do this. Which should be... Ready. Oh, actually, pause input, because I don't have the iron for that. We'll worry about that later. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get this all worked out, and I'll get back when I'm done. Okay, slowly chugging along, I had to get the mine going again to get the more iron going. I had to take out some uh, loose storage, just so I had parts to continue going, and we're sort of hanging in there right now, but we're out of copper, and I did have to do some trading, but... That didn't work out well, so uh, what I'm going to do is, I should just leave that, that like that, we're going to go, uh, yeah, the tower, we're going to edit the area again, and we are going to do, that's already been mined, so let's do this, we do that, and we'll add the other excavator, and add four trucks, because apparently, apparently I like the took all the trucks off of there and then we're going to go ahead and set the route from here to there now everything is all set up ready to go here go ahead and we start up that mine get those excavators working and then we go ahead and we turn all these on we got all of them i gotta watch how many workers i have i still have to get more people into the settlement and once we get some more parts i gotta start upgrading some of the
Even. I need rubber in the head. Bye. 
went ahead and put another mic. And turn While the pillar. Yeah. 